What's going on guys? Back with another video and today with Pelon from Enfirados directly from Florida came down here and dropped off his truck and we've been working on it for the last couple of months. Uh, we've had other projects before his so we have to knock those out first uh, but now we're really ready to work on it and uh, we're actually doing the firewall right now and uh, I got a couple of things going on so I got a big van so excuse the mess guys uh, but let's check this out real quick. So we got the firewall done, well halfway done, we got some of the stuff loaded up already and mocked up, the wire harness is protected with some electrical tape but we're still going to do some more wrap on there and uh, some exterior tape so that the water doesn't seep through it. Um, that pretty much gives us enough clearance to rock the 26s in the front. Got a mess inside, just because we had to take it all apart. We've got a bunch of wires everywhere. Um, but yeah, pretty much what we're doing for tonight is uh, finishing up the firewall. And uh, this pretty much just allows it so that the wheel, when it turns, it, it allows for clearance and it doesn't rub on here. Uh, a lot of people who do these kinds of firewalls uh, just tend to like tack it in certain spots and then they put seam sealer but with time the seam sealer falls off or cracks or if it's not prep right it just falls off completely and water starts to seam through uh, this is the reason why we like to do a pretty much full weld all the way through all the way on the inside and then uh, once we finish this part all the way all that we seam we weld most of this right here, but seam it through the inside and the outside. And then we do a couple of tacks up here. Water doesn't reach this part, but we still seal it on the inside and the outside. So we do a pretty big weld all the way around. And then we still seam seal it so that any kind of moisture or, you know, the air, all that stuff doesn't get into it through those seams and uh, this hole right here we slap this against it and then we seal this and we seal the outside so that it gives it a real nice real nice seal on it um, but yeah pretty much we already cut both sides now it's just doing the fabrication on the sheet metal make sure that none of the wires get pinched or cut and if they do make sure to resolder it and um, I have three grinders working one with the wire wheel one with the tiger disc which is this one the tiger disc or the flap wheel the cutoff wheel and then my third grinder with the wire wheel that pretty much takes off all this gunk and this one works wonders I like it this is pretty much the, the main tools for all of this work Besides the welder, my hood, um, and uh, yeah, these are pretty much the most things. We also did have to pull the fuse box off, pull the battery off, pull the fenders off. The whole front end was disassembled a while back. We're gonna get this knocked out tonight, and uh, I just wanted to bring you guys with me so you guys can watch and see what really goes down. And it's already like nighttime. I'm here putting in overtimes. I want to say like nine o'clock right now. Um, but shit, we're gonna get it knocked out. This is a 2010 Silverado four door, and we are putting on the 26 by nine with the one inch lip, which is these wheels right here. And the final drop that it's gonna have is gonna be nine inches, which is gonna be the upper and lower control arms with the tuck and turn setting to it. It's gonna have the spindles and then the adjustable struts and once it sits on the floor it should be a good three or maybe three or four inches still above the uh, the from the frame off the ground so drivability should still be okay um, hopefully it doesn't sit too low and then it's uncomfortable but this customer he doesn't give a crap this guy is all about the low life he had the, the back 
like super low and the front real high so he's gonna be real happy with the rear now being I mean the front I'm sorry the front is now gonna be a lot lower than what it was before and he's definitely gonna be real happy about that uh, huge shout out to Pelon from Enfirados Trucking all the way from Florida this truck is gonna be out there at his show so you guys make sure you guys follow him um, he has like two Instagrams and I'll just put the links right here and then you guys uh, can go and check him out he said he was gonna come down uh, to the April shootout and uh, I'm ready to have this truck ready I already have the axles I have the three link I have pretty much everything for the rear uh, I just need to finish the front so I can move on to the rear and uh, there's gonna be uh, white the rear links are gonna be white powder coated white and then when he takes it back home he's gonna shoot uh, tropical glitz I'm guessing that's that's what it is tropical glitz with the clear and so that gives him the same tone that he has here uh, we still got to work out the sheet metal stuff and all that stuff because he wants like a plexiglass on there but I'm not sure how we're gonna do that just yet uh, but we'll get to it uh, for now I'm just gonna bring you guys with me so you guys can see and follow and understand how much work it actually takes to get this firewall done because uh, a lot of people don't understand the time and the uh, energy that it takes to do these firewalls and why they're so expensive uh, there's a lot of people who will go out there and, and do their firewalls for like two or three bucks but then they have leaks and rust issues guys so we got it pretty much laid out how we want it now what I'm doing is I'm welding all the inside I gotta come back and weld all of this right here and then tack all these together and then weld all this and then just smooth it out uh, 
gave me a hard time. You know, you guys missed all the stuff that I did right here just because, man, it's, it's hard for me to just sit here and struggle and then the camera runs out of film. Um, so, pretty much got that done uh, behind the scenes. And then uh, now we got this set up. Uh, I did have a small gap right here, but we pretty much sealed it up through the inside and then just kind of pushing this up. And I have a special tool that I use to press this together because I'm by myself. Um, but we pretty much got it now where we want it. Now it's just time to weld everything. And then after this, smooth it all out and we're good to go. So keep watching. So pretty much that's how it ended up um, coming down. All this welded inside and out. This fully sealed with the weld. This 
fully sealed this right here fully sealed uh right here i'm gonna do one last bead uh right before i end the video i gotta chop this off and then seal it up um i have to tack this but i have to be careful too because the wire harness is real quick real close and i do have some stuff back here the box that's behind the firewall yeah not bad for about an hour worth of work uh one thing that i've learned over the years of experience uh is welding on sheet metal uh, i've learned how to do a full bead instead of just doing your normal tacks uh, i just feel like tacking it looks really funky and not as professional as this i mean i still gotta go over i mean i could leave it like this but i i like to smooth this out and then make it look a lot better this right here too and then do a primer coat and then after that undercoating so that uh it's rubberized and repels any kind of like water or oils or whatever and uh let's take a look at the inside so that's pretty much how it looks right now i mean all the wires and shit are on the way still but we're gonna get that fixed as soon as uh i put everything back together but as you can see you can see light right there right and then you can't see no light coming out of there and that's the reason why i have the light inside so that i can tell if there's any kind of gaps or pieces that i still need to weld but as you can see here there's no light coming out no light shining out from the bottom either uh, you would still see the light is so bright you can see through here if there's any gap we also have this chrysler that we did the drop on I'm gonna just put some wheels on it. It's a really nice price that you have. also wants me to pick it up just a half an inch on the rear uh, we did drop this car I want to say about four maybe five months ago um, but uh, yeah, that's also another thing that he wants to do is test the wheels out and then powder coat them a different color you got some uh, 20 These are the new ones he got. These are 285, 35, 20. It's a different setup. And I know he said one of the back wheels is. So I'm guessing this is the rear wheel. This is the front wheel. Skinny, wide. So he wants me to test those on. And uh, depending on how it looks. He wants to powder coat him a different color, so we're gonna take care of that too. The truck, I told that bitch get to step in. This one right here goes out to all the truck crews from the west coast to the east coast. Keep burning rubber on these motherfuckers. Fuck the haters straight up, no motherfucking game. Yo slice es siempre quise muchas gracias. No son miles, pero el cheque nunca falta. Hace tiempo que dejé de andar a pata. Ahora me miran pasar quemando llanta No es Mercedes, no es un Tesla, pero aguanta Silvera no se encontra, espero tumbada Con el nombre de la clica bautizada Le moché a piso, no miro nada